Hey guys, Dave Maxa here from Home Music Studio One. You can also find me on the web at homemusicstudioone.com. I want to show you how to take a single stereo recorded track and split that into two single mono tracks, giving you the ability to process the left and the right data of your original stereo track independently from one another. Now this is useful if you've got a stereo track that you've recorded that you want to do separate pannings or separate processing and you've got different information on the left and the right side of your WAV file. Now this is a master mix. This is a track that I mixed down uh, and I've done a few demos with this. Uh, here's just a portion of what I've got here. It's a full mix. Pick up yours, my hope and all my future is in you. Okay, so you can hear I've got a full mix going on, but this would work certainly if you had just a single track that you were using uh, and you wanted to just separate that single stereo track. You had different information on the left and the right, and you wanted to be able to process that information independently, such as pans, volumes, uh, whatever it is. Uh, so very simply, first of all, we're going to go in this area on the left-hand side of the track. And again, uh, total side note, I'm using Reaper here uh, for this demonstration, and I am actually using um, a Pro, uh, the Pro X Tools version 1.01 theme, for those of you that are wondering. Uh, but in this case, we're going to click on a regular track, we're going to right-click on that, and we're going to select Duplicate Tracks. Now, we've got two uh, independent tracks. They're, they're identical. Everything is the same. And, uh, but as you can see, they're both stereo. And we want to be able to have just the left information on the track on the top and then just the right information on the track on the bottom. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to click on the waveform, and I'm going to right-click in this area. And up to the top, I'm going to click on Item Settings. And you can see we've got a lot more options over here. And down toward the middle... We're going to tell our track to only in this mode display a mono version of just what's happening on the left side of that track. So I click there and you can see now this is, uh, is just the left side of what our original stereo track was and now our track is in mono. So that stereo track now has been converted to mono but it's only taking the information from the left hand side and it's not actually processing that it's just giving us the view we're only processing just the left side now we're going to go down to our second track we're going to do the same thing we're going to right click on this go to item settings and this time i'm going to go down to the channel mode mono right hand side and now here we go we, we can see that we've got two different sets of information you can see uh, these aren't identical these are what was happening in our final mix but this is the left side is the top the right side of that stereo track originally uh, is now in the bottom. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pans and we're just going to pan the left hard right or hard left and the right hard right. Now, if we hear just a portion of our mix, we should hear exactly what we started with. How long will I hunger? Okay, there you go. That's a very simple way using Reaper to take a single stereo track and split that into two independent mono tracks, giving you control over the left and the right hand side of the information. Now from this point, uh, if you wanted to do separate pannings, if this were a single track within your mix and you wanted to pan, say, the right side, you wanted the volume different on the right than the left, but you want to still have that track, this would give the ability to do that. There's lots of uses for this. Uh, but there you go. That's how to separate a stereo track into two single mono tracks using Reaper. This is Dave Maxey with Home Music Studio One.